Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Biology and of course today we are going to be talking about the concept of turgidity, turgidity and Tugor pressure, okay? This is Tugor, T-U-R-O-G-U-R, Tugor pressure, all right? So of course, uh, do not forget this tutorial, of course, brought to you by the one and only O3 School Jamba. It is all you need to succeed in your exam. That's all the past question you will need, so you don't need to go and buy past questions. As a classroom feature that has lecture notes structured according to the jam syllabus. So you don't need to go and buy a textbook. Also, we have question side feature. You can sign for question according to topic. Likewise, we also have the UTME mock challenge every Saturday by 10 a.m. You compete with your mates, win prizes. There is to jam pass question. There is to uh, likely exam questions. And of course, you see your score release every Saturday also, just like jam. So you do I know you will not be scared when they say, hey, jam, don't release the doctor because you know that your mind don't they boom, boom, boom. You're already prepared for the exam through all our series of mock every Saturday. So if something you don't know, you do not want to miss at all, please head to Play Store immediately now all right, and download that application and start practicing. All of this just for a small token. All right, so please do not be stingy to yourself. Get the app today. Okay, so this is turgidity and two gut pressure. But before I talk about turgidity and two gut pressure, let's just talk about uh, types of membrane that we have. Okay, we have three types of membrane. We have what? Impermeable. Impermeable membrane. Okay, we have fully or freely permeable, permeable membrane. Okay, then we have a selectively permeable, selectively permeable membrane. Or we'll call it a semi, semi or selectively permeable membrane. So this is a type of membrane that what we have. We'll talk about our permeability, all right? So now, this impermeable membrane are those membranes that do not allow, allow the movement of molecules, right? And a uh, solvent or solute, you know, out of them, okay? It does not allow the movement of molecules. It does not allow, it does not allow what molecules to pass through them, okay? Whether it's a solute or solvent, they don't allow it. Okay, this those are that we call we call what the impermeable membrane. Impermeable, impermeable. That means oh, it cannot pass through them. Okay, solute, solvent oh, does not allow molecules to pass through them. Okay, those are what impermeable membrane. Example is what rubber membrane. Rubber membrane. For example, now if you have a uh, rubber, you have those without bucket. Okay, if you pull water inside, so it needs to pass through. As, I'm not talking about those of you that your bucket that already break or finish you, not be those one. Uh, uh, a bucket that you just bought that you know that is completely sealed. You put water inside, will it come out from the um, from the other side of the body? It will not. Okay, so those are called those are what an impermeable membrane does not allow the passage of what Mole molecules. Either was solute or solvent through them. Okay, likewise, we now have the fully or freely permeable membrane. This one allows, this one, are, let me not say it. Okay, it allows for every, every what molecule to pass through it. All right, it allows every, everything to pass through it. Okay, then of course, we now have semi or selectively permeable membrane. This semi or selectively permeable membrane, right, they allow what uh, water molecules to pass through them, but they do not allow a solute to pass through them. This one allows what? They allow water molecules. Water molecules. But they do not allow a solute to pass through them. This one allows all molecules to pass through them. But this one does not what allow at all anything to pass through it. Okay? So that is what the type of membranes that we have just to throw it to you so that you also will get a feel of it. Now let's talk about Tugor pressure first. Okay? Tugor pressure is the force within the cell. Okay? Tugor pressure is the force within the cell that pushes the plasma membrane against the cell wall. Okay? It we say to go pressure, to go pressure is the force within the cell that pushes the plasma membrane within the cell that pushes the plasma membrane against the cell wall. Please take note of that. So, to go pressure is what is the force within the cell, within the cell itself, okay, that pushes the plasma membrane against what? The cell wall. We also call this to go pressure hydrostatic pressure. Okay, also call what this to go pressure hydrostatic what pressure. Okay, to go pressure is the force within the cell, within the cell that pushes 
the plasma membrane against the cell wall. We also call it what hydrostatic wall pressure. Okay, and generally, Tugor pressure is caused by the osmotic flow of water. It's caused by what? By the osmotic flow of water. Tugor pressure is caused by the osmotic. You say osmotic flow of water. That is what causes what Tugor pressure. Please take note of it. Tugor pressure is caused by the osmotic flow of what? Of water. Okay, and it and, and it occurs in plants. Of course, in the fungi and bacteria, all right? It occurs in plants. It occurs in fungi. Okay, also occurs what in bacteria. Okay, all right, so that's what two core pressure. So two core pressure is what? The force within the cell that pushes the plasma membrane against the cell wall. Okay, it is also called hydrostatic what? pressure. And it is called by the osmotic flow of what? Of water. Okay, as, osmo, as water will flows into the into the what uh, into the what plants were by what by uh, by osmosis okay it is called by the osmotic flow of water and it occurs in plants in fungi in bacteria and the like why on the other hand turgidity uh, turgidity is a phenomenon it's a phenomenon let's talk about turgidity now it's a phenomenon in which the vacuum in which the vacuum of the plant cell swells okay it's a phenomenon in which the vacuole of the plant cell swells. Okay, say so turgidity is a phenomenon in which the vacuum, V A C O L, the vacuole of the plant cell, of the plant cell swells. Okay, it's a phenomenon in which the vacuum of the plant cell swells when placed in an hypotonic solution. When placed, when placed in an hypotonic, hypotonic solution. We already know what hypotonic solution is from the last episode, so we are not going to what, go through that again. So, turgidity is a phenomenon in which the vacuum of the plant cell swells, it swells. When placed in a what in an hypotonic what solution, this is usually due to what to, to the high inflow of water from the hypotonic solution into the water cell. Okay, this is due to the what, high inflow. If this is due, this is due to the high inflow, high inflow, inflow of water from this hypotonic solution from the from the hypotonic solution into the cell okay so as 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 the, as as this high flow of water okay high flow of water from the producer it goes into the cell the cell begins to what to swell it begins to swell okay by the swell by the cell wall the cell wall will not allow what the what the what the the, the, the substance to what to burst it will not burst at all okay despite what the swelling it will not burst because of the presence of what of the cell wall so say turgidity is a phenomenon in which the vacuum of the plant cell swells when placed in an hypotonic solution and this is due to the high inflow of water from the hypotonic solution into the cell okay turgidity usually occurs in plant cells as the cell wall present, as the cell wall present prevents what the cell from bursting. Okay, so of course, this is what uh, uh, turgidity is about, and this is what two gut pressure is about. All right, so please take note of that and what just know and just know them. That just simple term. We we'll talk about types of membrane. We we'll talk about what turgidity and what two gut pressure. So anywhere you you encounter any of them, is become will become very very easy for you what to encounter. Please make sure you like the video, make sure you sus subscribe, and make sure you keep sharing. In the next episode, we we'll talk about hemolysis, talk about plasmolysis, we'll talk about flaccidity. All right, I would love to see you in that episode. Thank you for watching and thank you for joining us. See you there.